Okay guys, straight into the video today, not the normal format, but 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 sneak sneak preview, sneak preview, straight in, straight in. Okay, so I just remeasured the offset that this rises out of the out of the thing as it's going. I need to go to Home Depot and buy pipe fittings that'll slide in between, and I have to kind of figure that out there, and we'll see. One other thing I need to get um, a real crimps so I don't destroy myself when it comes to this thing. Um, but let me go to Home Depot and play the da 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 da. <laughs> We're back. Okay, so we've made it home from Home Depot with the smorgasbord, the parts, wires, all the other, all the other little fittings and things I'm going to need. Hopefully, got the flanges, got the other stuff, uh, and also got these pipes. So these pipes, and this is the idea. These pipes are going to be sitting inside of these pipes, and we're going to use those to guide the rails as they go up. Now. I am kind of apprehensive on just putting this all together right now, just because that means I have to kind of take apart my computer desk, but uh, I mean, it's going to have to be done at some point, so I don't really know. But first things first, I'm going to get all of this wired up, and then I'm going to be right back. Okay, moment of truth, got it all wired up, so it's all going to this power supply and, and running back and running around. Now, if I hit enter on my keyboard... Would you look at that? And then we have to program in all of, I guess, the save positions for the heights and everything else. But uh, I mean, like, that looks pretty good. Maybe we only have two settings. We only have max and an unmax. But now that we have a power supply, we don't get that other weird issue we were having before with the power going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, and then the desk goes up. Uh, I guess now I was trying to avoid doing the last steps where I take this apart, but I, it might be time. It might be time. This works great just for fun. Hold up. If we do this again. Look at that, look at that, science, technology, all of it combined into one. But these should have a pretty hard force too. So I'm pushing down with like most of my weight on this one and it does go down slightly faster, but they should have about shared weight. And the idea is they're positionable with, well, you give it how long you want to leave them on and how long you want them to go, but they end at the same time. They should be able to hold uh, 250 pounds a piece. So I'm guessing like 500 for the whole desk. Don't know, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Also, before we forget, we have the last piece, which is this right here, and now we have every part printed that we need. So uh, let's throw these on. This actually, these, these come out. These look so good. These look so good. <laughs> okay, on to the next problem, and this is a slightly anticipated problem that uh, we can solve with 3D printing because 3D printing is great. The inner diameter of this uh, pipe is slightly too big. You see that little gap in between there. So this is going to rattle and jiggle when it's going up, and there might be some in imbalances or something. So I'm just going to print little uh, little 3D printing bushings to put inside the edge of this to keep it all flush and centered yeah so let me go design those real quick and then off to the printers and then yeah and quite literally five minutes later i love 3d printing the piece is done let's see if i know how to measure or not <laughs> i'm gonna give it like a five percent chance i know how to measure correctly probably should probably should give myself a little more credit but uh you never know one second i gotta put the camera down okay so kind of hard to show this with only one hand but if it's snug right in that pipe and that should keep that pipe straight so it can't knock around and bang around a bunch. And I'm gonna print a bunch of these. These are only a five minute print, so let's go back with like, what do I need, like 12 of them? Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, they're too tight on there. Also, a little side note, because I'm terrible at narrating while I'm filming these things. Uh, right now, I'm putting in the heated inserts into this thing, and I did another thing too. Um, those little bearing things didn't quite work, so I ended up redesigning this part right here, uh, which is a cap that goes on the end that has that same bearing hole. It kind of works, and uh, you'll, you'll see in a sec. But those caps fit snug, and then I got right into installing this thing. It was a little bit of a mess and a pain getting around all the wires, but I got everything up and in, and it was just kicking it up, like pushing it up. It actually works. Ah. Okay, I think this is a good breaking point because it's kind of working. I mean, some of the mounts broke a little bit, and I know why. It's it's kind of bent, and I didn't. It, it's, there's no brackets on the things yet. Also, kind of tired, but uh, yeah, it's it's working at least, and it's actually holding. So this this is holding good in the back. Um, maybe have to put a third one on. I don't know to keep it all like equal and organized, but then this one would be floating. That's, I don't know, maybe four, but that seems like overkill. I don't know. But uh, I mean, yeah, it worked. And I also probably have to figure out some way of distributing this like across. Maybe I put like a beam or something that comes out of the top of this thing and like and like shares it across. I don't, I don't know. That might be an option too. I think that's how science works. Uh, but yeah, it, it kind of works. Yeah. Also real quick too, going down should work, but I'm going to hold my finger on the off button just in case. But let's toggle it so it's backwards. So it's going the right way. Oh. I thought I had it off. <laughs> I mean, but that, that should work. This should work. Going down should be fine. Maybe not. Uh, well, the pistons are going down, but the desk isn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, slight, slight problems, slight issues. We could fix that. That's uh, solvable. <laughs> 
Okay, you ready for some videoception? I don't know if this is gonna work because I have to hold the two hands, but I'm gonna try it. Turn that back on, and then as soon as we hit enter on the keyboard up here, as soon as we hit enter up here, this might be a bad idea because I kind of need two hands for this, but I'm gonna try it because I was letting it go in and out a bunch of times, but we hit enter. Oh, okay. And we made it. <laughs> and you'll see there is a slight, a slight lean and a slight tilt right now, um, just because these top mounts broke off. And I'm gonna try to find a better way to do that, there, there, that won't happen. But I guess that's kind of reality I live in right now. But standing desk, slight angled, everything's angled in a nice way. I kind of, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it too much. But uh, yeah, for Gen One V1 of just slapping something out of a printer, that's not bad. I've seen way worse. And worst case scenario, we can just overkill this thing and put one of these motors on each one of the legs. Solves the problem like instantly but I think once I get the mounting brackets on here there will be more force on the this corner right here there's a little uh, gap on this right here and I don't think this is always hitting flush and if I have this corner bracket on here it'll give it something to kind of angle off of I think but I might have to come up with some whole new way of distributing the weight off and like over so this stays up but for now that locks in pretty tight it's a <laughs> we have a one degree <laughs> offset for the desk I'm okay with that I just wanted a standing desk <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of it for today. Um, I have to get a bunch of other stuff done, so I can't do all the stuff with video today. Videoception, you're actually seeing the end of the timeline. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm so excited. The last thing I have to do is, is design a little box to sit that, push that against the wall. But the fact that this just worked first try, first try as they say, I love these things. I love 3D printers, and I want to thank you guys for watching along. Uh, this week's kind of a mess. I just jumbled this all together. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and we're going to be going strong with this. All the other projects are still going on in the background. Maybe I can show you one thing real fast. Okay, that's this thing right here. This blob of code actually made this all work. So I have the cart loading. You want to see something really cool? Look at this. Uh, it's tracking your, your mouse around. I'm doing all this other ray casting stuff working on right now. But the whole cart is hooked in. Where now, if you add items to your list, I can model it and throw it up into 3D objects. Oh my god, the whole cart's going to be here. Clickable. Everything else. Sorry, I was just too excited. This took way too much code spam to get done. And if you know anything about uh, WebGL, you know how much I hated my life while I was making this thing. But yeah. But I think that's about it for this week's video. Quick up there on that too. There's more things I can update, but I got I got other stuff I got to do today, unfortunately. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.